was wondering if you were going to change from your stand-up comedy outfit. I know, yeah. To a talk show guest outfit. That that outfit, it just it makes you too confident. You know what I mean? Like I wanted, <laughs> I wanted a couple of, of obstacles. I was worried that here, some yeah. of the women in the audience were going to pounce on you. And, oh uh... my God, yeah. The, the the extra puff that the dad jeans gives you, <laughs> you know, where it looks like you have like four asses where you're. Oh, it's just I know. Keep your seats. <laughs> I watched your stand-up special. It was very beautiful and Thank very you. funny as well. Thank There's you. some very serious stuff in it I think people know about. Yeah. Uh, it made me cry, I will say. Oh, man. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was very, very nervous doing that only because I, I was afraid that I was going to come out there and either I would freeze. It was one of those things where I was not able to get the courage to do it until after I did it. There's that very famous saying in the movie Three Kings. You get the courage to do the thing that you're afraid to do after you do it. And that is exactly what I had to, Yeah, and that's what I had to go through. And and it also, but it also helped having having Bobcat Goldthwait directing me. Bobcat used yeah. to be director of our show. I know, yeah. yeah. And, and, and Bobcat was one of those guys uh, starting off a lot of young comedians from my generation. We would watch his specials, especially like Feel the Warmth, where he would just crawl all around and just be such a lunatic that it gave us the license to try to do that stuff when we were doing these very bland cable shows. Like, well, I want to go in the audience and, and set my scrotum on fire. And they're like, no, this is evening at the improv. You're just uh -huh. going to stand up there and tell your jokes. <laughs> yeah, but Bobcat, you're not Bobcat Goldthwait. Just stand up there and do your joke. Like, um, Bobcat uses something that he calls the voice. And the, the voice, voice is yes. something that comes out of him. Oh, no, wait, I call it the voice. Yeah. He doesn't call it the <laughs> voice. But yeah, he has this crazy voice. But then he's a very mild-mannered guy in real life. He is so mild At one point, we were backstage. One of the biggest laughs in the special is a, a tag to my jokes, um, I'm, I'm doing a bit, and then there's a little tagline, and he gave me that tagline. The day of the special, he goes, oh, you know what? You could, you could use this, like, th this little joke would work, and he told me the joke, and then my, my comedian instincts kicked in. It's like, I went, well, are you, do you want to use that? He's like, no, you idiot. That's, it's your joke. I can't, I can't <laughs> use that anywhere. I just gave that to you. Like, in my head, he's going to reverse uh, engineer a whole bit out of this one great line. Out of the tag, yeah. yeah. It would yeah, be like so... if he, instead of a shirt, he just gave you the tag, and you thought, <laughs> oh, you should wear this. Dude, you should take this tag, man. That's, that's totally... <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die.